we had been through the pressures and tensions uh, and the victory of Birmingham. And so many of the people in the movement didn't even want to go to Washington because we didn't see this as a movement. We saw it as a picnic. And so for us to go to Washington was an opportunity to take a little break from the roughness. Martin called me and said, you need to get on up here. Come on up. You'll regret it if you're not here. could not see how many people were there. When you got up to the top where the Lincoln statue is and looked out, it was beyond the length of your vision. And there were all kinds of people. There were people in business suits and people in blue jeans. There were people who had never been outside of their hometown before. And all of a sudden, they're in the nation's capital. So you're saying to yourself, this is something people in America support. This is something that people in America think is worthwhile. Let freedom ring from every hill and Mole Hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom ring and when it happens. When we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. not have changed America without the March on Washington. It took a Southern black movement and made it a national, multiracial movement. There were almost as many white people there as there were black people. The March on Washington was the thing that defined the movement for America at large and defined it for the world. We can go back to catch hell some more now, because Martin has told us that we're going to walk together, children. We're going to be free. 